Well, your old pal, the leakest wink here, and uh, hey, I'm still alive. They ain't come and hurt me yet. They said that dude said he was gonna he was gonna hurt me by God because I talked about Derek's hair, but. Yeah, I'm still alive, still here, still don't have no dents in my head, and I don't think I got patches on my head. He said I had patches on my head, but I don't know. Again, a little thin up top, but hell, I'm in my 40s, shit, man. I'm in my early 40s now. I ain't that old, but you know, I'm in my 40s now. I will say that, but damn, though. I was looking around today. It's been kind of quiet. That dude didn't go live today. I give him credit for that, shit, because either he's sleeping off the bender he's been on, or he's still on it and just being smart trying to be smart and staying the hell off that damn uh, Facebook live shit but my first thought was maybe he was doing that and then I I was finally just said fuck it and I went over to Facebook and I look on the dude's page and like I'll be goddamn if he still got all that shit up from over the weekend like that he was posting about all the uh, where he was like you know sounding all fucked up and his eyes were all fucked up and and the one where he nods out, like the very worst one is still up. It's the one he went to Walmart where he, you know, passes out on the fucking bench and drops the phone a couple times. The one that's just really bad, really super embarrassing. Still up. And apparently there was only four people that commented on the damn thing, or at least that's all it showed. And of those four comments, only one person even fucking mentioned the damn fact that the dude was nodding out, man. This is fuck, that's how fucked up this shit is. And they just said, are you okay, dude? It's like, dude, are you okay? And, of course, nobody responded. But I was like, what the fuck, man? God damn, dude. Like, this shit's still up, man. It's been up for, it's been, what, since at least Sunday when that shit happened. Well, it's, yeah, it had to have been at least Sunday. I'm like, god damn, dude. Like, I mean, you know, I mean, I don't do that shit anymore. I mean, it's like seven, eight years ago when I did. But, god damn, when I would, when I used to do shit, dumb shit like that. The very next day when I would wake up, like, I would have those little moments of clarity and I would wake up and the first thing I would do is grab my phone and go through my, like, social media page and shit and make sure I didn't post anything stupid the day before when I was fucked up. <laughs> and I'd make sure I'd delete that shit as quick as I could. Man, like, I mean, how bad of a bender do you have to be on to leave something like that up on your fucking, your, your main social media page that everybody... I mean, like, everybody this dude knows in real life is probably on the damn thing and seeing all this shit, man. God damn, like, Either the dude's doing it on purpose and just, you know, like a cry for help kind of deal, or he's, like, just oblivious and so far gone that he didn't even, either doesn't care or he forgot that it's on there. Like, my God, man. Like, that's got to be embarrassing, though. But shit, you, normally you would think, like, his damn, his wife or girlfriend or whoever would, like, be like, dude, you got to take that shit down. That's fucked up. That's embarrassing. But apparently not. Like, I mean... My first thought was maybe he was just faking it. You know, maybe he's just bullshitting and faking it and fucking around, uh, you know, just to draw out the haters like they always do. They always seem to draw out the haters, but they never really do anything with it once they draw them out. They just they just always say they're drawing out the haters, him and Dart do. But I, I never really figured out what the hell the point of that is. But but after watching that video again, at least I just kind of skimmed through it. Yeah, that, that wasn't faking, man. That That's absolutely legit. Like, fucking, that's drugs, man. He did some fucking dope right before he went in the door. Apparently, it hit him about 10, you know, 5, 10 minutes into the, the little shopping excursion into Walmart because he real quick has to go find him somewhere to sit down. And, yeah. I don't know what the hell that is. I don't know if it's Xanax bars, it's fucking heroin, fentanyl, whatever, man. Dude's got a fucking major fucking problem. And it don't appear to be getting any better. But, hey, you know, it's his life, his problem, whatever. If he wants to fix it, he will. If he don't, you know. Ain't none of my concern. I just keep saying the shit, man. God damn, though. But yeah. At first, I was thinking, well, hell, it's quiet. Maybe you decided to sober up. But if he just sobered up, one of the first things he'd have done would be grab that fucking phone and delete any of that bullshit on there. But at least that one. At least private the goddamn thing. My God, dude. That's embarrassing, man. Like, that's embarrassing as fuck. Again, I don't even like this motherfucker, and I'm embarrassed for him, man. God damn. Like, I mean, that's just horrific, man. Like, the... I mean, you know, to think, like, back when I was doing that kind of shit, if I'd have put out a video like that, and that thing would have been left up for four or five fucking days for the whole damn world to see, man, shit. That's horrific. <laughs> but, I don't know. Who knows? Hopefully a dude will straighten up before he ends up doing something stupid, like killing him, taking too much, and killing himself, or, God forbid, get behind the damn wheel of a car and killing somebody else. Shit, man. Don't be a dumbass driving around all fucked up. That's stupid. You're going to end up fucking killing somebody. 
Are you going to end up in jail? Fucking catching a goddamn uh, DUI or some bullshit. That's if you're lucky. If you're lucky, you'll do that. And if somebody else ain't lucky and they on the road same time as you that you fucking nod out behind the wheel, they uh, might end up hurt or killed. Goddamn, man. Ugh. What a fucking mess, man. Absolute fucking train wreck, man. Oh, well. Again, normally I wouldn't even fucking mention any of this shit. But... First, the dude came online last weekend. Him and Derek crying about somebody mentioning Derek's hair. I'm going to hurt that like a sweet boy. You mentioned Derek's hair. I don't even think I did. <laughs> if I did, I... it's probably a long time ago. But... Yeah. That's what started. Then I started seeing all these crazy fucked up videos. This dude out and about driving around in a fucking car. Fucked up. Got them out of his mind on fucking some kind of damn drugs. Shit. God damn, dude. Might be a good idea to fucking grow up a little bit, man. And fucking quit doing that damn shit. You ain't gonna listen. You be like, oh, some fucking haters. I'm, I'm the only one that can handle this lifestyle. He's just a hater. He can't handle it. He's jealous of me. I can handle that. You can't handle it. Walmart says you can't handle it. The Walmart video says you can't handle it. And the 200-something people that watched that damn video so far on your... That's just on your fucking Facebook page. There's probably another thousand people done seen it on YouTube, man. Shit. Them 1,200 fucking people or so that's probably seen that damn video by now or... Shit, who knows? Probably more. Agree also that you can't handle this shit. But hey, man. Whatever. It's your life, man. It's your choice and your... Perfectly free to fuck up your life any way you choose to. So, with that, I'm going to get the hell off here. But I just thought that was kind of interesting. I seen that today. I was like, you know, hmm, that is crazy. That shit's still up. But, I don't know. And again there, Donald, I wouldn't even be mentioning your fucking shit if you ain't fucking been talking your shit last weekend, motherfucker. Fucking Derek on there, like, yeah, that wake of sleep boy, I hate him the most. He said he wouldn't fight me because he's scared he's gonna get his jaw broke. Ain't nobody scared of you, Derek. Scooter Beggins wanted to fight you last summer and you ran like a fucking, ran like a scared little fucking kid, man. Shit. You ran away from your beloved Boone County and your beloved best Virginia and went all the way to a place you call the shittiest Virginia. Damn Carrollton, whatever the fuck it is. Went over there and shacked up with old Shana at the fucking uh, the meth shack whatever they call that down place the, <laughs> the skank could take us up like that I don't know oh my god oh well y'all two ain't never gonna change though never I don't think probably not but you know what hey whatever you know if there was if y'all was ever to follow a family tradition it wouldn't be that one to follow why don't y'all follow in the foot you know the other family tradition of doing like the dancing and shit like that Instead of the family tradition of the, the drugs and the crazy shit. Man, goddamn. Just a suggestion, though. Oh, God, just a hater suggestion. Just a hater suggestion. Maybe you should do something positive, guys. Yeah, since y'all talk about another day doing something positive. While you're doing negative shit. First, you gotta cut out the negative shit. Then you do the positive shit. There's some there's steps to this. You know, there's like rules to it. You know. I'm just saying. I'm gonna get the hell off here. I gotta go to bed. Oh, well, see y'all later. Bye.